So today, I'm down the farm, got an idea in my head, and I've decided to just roll with it. Let's dyno tune a Renault Twizy. Right, so you've all seen that I've bought this Renault Twizy. I've been driving it around. Um, it goes all right. It's limited to 50 mile an hour. Um, it's limited in power. I don't know what power it is a standard, but we're gonna check that now. Um, but I'm gonna dyno tune it. So there's a company in the Netherlands, a guy called Kenneth, and he does a special little tuning box, which I've bought off of him. So I'm gonna run it on the dyno, see what power it makes a standard, fit his tuning box, and um, see how much horsepower it gives me. So yeah, let's do it. I need to put the, extract the uh, extractors on for this one, will I? I do not know how I get myself into these predicaments. Right. Got the Twizy on the dyno, strapped it down, got the controller here, wire just about reaches. Let's see what power it makes. Keyboard. I'm gonna take that. Pretty accurate. 21 horsepower, 106 foot pound of torque. It's the weirdest power graph I've ever seen. So it's like a consistent 21 horsepower and a big spike of like 100 foot pound of torque and then it slowly drops off higher in the rev range. Rev range? Speed range. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of twigging it against road speed. So obviously the speed limit is at 50 mile an hour, 49. It's about right. How weird. Right, let's tune it. So, in order to tune a Renault Twizy, you need this. Let's turn this off. So this is the power box, which is a Twizy tuning tool. Um, all it does is you plug it into your OBD port. I've got an OBD extension here. I haven't got two hands, so give me a second. Bosh, there you go, it lights up. So you plug it in. Once you've plugged it in, turn your ignition on. You can tune it without the app. There's like a fob, but I've never used that. So if you open up your, it's my daughter by the way, you download the Powerbox app, it scans, it says, scan, connected. So now I know it's connected. You then go up here to tuning. I'm gonna go for maximum power. Tuning status. Please wait, it might bleep. Yeah, there you go, get loads of warning lights come up. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Tuning complete. Turn off and on the ignition key and you are ready to drive. No problem. Off, on. And that is how you tune an electric car. So now you can see I'm connected and I'm currently in sport mode, I believe. Oops. All right, scan, reconnect. What have I done wrong here? Mm. Oh, I know. Hold up. Right. So now when I open up the Powerbox app, connected, and as you can see, we are in sport mode, so it's highlighted in green. You're currently in auto mode, please switch to manual mode to access this feature. No problem, manual mode. Sport. Let's see what power it makes now, shall we? Drive. Oh, I didn't. My bad. Right, we're in drive. Ha, 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 ha. 
don't know how well you heard that, but my, I had traction issues on the dyno. So it will spun a bit, so we didn't get a consistent reading, but it did make 166 foot pound of torque and 32 horsepower. I just gained 12 horsepower, but it will spun. So I'm gonna need to um, try that again, maybe loosen the strap so it climbs forward. That is funny. Let's try again. Maybe I've got some heat into the tires now. Ginge, I've got an idea. I need more traction. Get in. <laughs> you in? Mate, this car's just built for two people. Cozy? Right, let's try again. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna have to slide the seat back. I can't drive like this. That's all right. Ow, ow, ow. Hang on, hang on. Not like someone's gonna go, oh, my legs, did you? you, you sell, you're kind right, of... I'm going back. Yeah, go for me, go as far as you can. Oh, really? All right. Oh. Right, let's see if I can get some more traction now, shall we? Right, uh, okay. It did make a little bit more torque. Didn't make, I did make a little bit more horsepower, not too much. 174 foot pound of torque and 31 horsepower. It's all in the launch, because when I pull away, it just wheel spins like mad. I'd like to feather it in, but I just want like max power. Let's try one more time. Right. What, put them in the back of a Twizzy? You've got a spider in the back here, mate. Have I? Yeah. He's my friend. That's right, he's living the dream. Good morning, dude. So, yeah. It now makes 31 horsepower and about 100 and... What was the highest number? Let's have a little play around. You right there? Yeah, you do what you got to do. Can you not get out? Oh, yeah. I'll go over here to this screen. Right, let's clear some stuff up. Make it look neat. So I think the highest was flow talk. That looks better. So the highest was the purple. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of the blue. So yeah, there we have it. With the power box on, with the power box off, this is torque and horsepower in the red lines. With the power box on, a lot more torque, a lot more horsepower. Peak horsepower, 31. Peak torque, 174. But it does wheel spin a bit when it pulls away, but that's where it makes its peak torque on the launch. Um, also, you can see you get high top speed. So without the power box, it's limited to like 50 mile an hour. With the power box, it goes upwards of like, well, you see that's 65. I'm not gonna bother scaling the, uh, graph any further this way because you can see it's getting less and less and less so if i scale it it will just keep getting less and less to like down here but yeah i'm quite impressed with that so yeah there you go i had an itch i had to scratch it i've dyno tuned my renault twizzy that will do for this mega short episode oh maybe we should road test it yeah i'm gonna road test it let's do it oh it's a bit bumpy but then i'm driving out the farm
quite a lot of traffic. Let's give it a little test, shall we? So yeah, after dyno tuning the Twizzy, it goes pretty well to be honest with you. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I think that's probably enough for this little video. Like, share, subscribe. Cheers guys.